Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2019 political drama Lone Star Deception, a film that is directed by Don Ocolo and Robert Peters and it stars Eric Roberts as Bill Sagal, Anthony Ray Parker as Tim Bay, Gary Lee Mahmood, Melissa, Melissa Determined, Eliza Roberts, Johnny Ray Gibbs and John Maciag. Now this is a film that focuses heavily on politics and is focused on the state of Texas hence the title Lone Star um, and it focuses on um, a character played by Anthony Ray Parker Tim Bay who is running for office running to be the governor of Texas however he is the first black man ever to run for governor of the state of Texas now he is given this opportunity because Eric Roberts, Bill, Sa Bill Sagal, his nephew who was going to run for office, uh, gets involved in a scandal with a prostitute uh, that ultimately leads to him committing suicide. So um, Eric Roberts' character, who essentially is uh, moulds and builds up people to become governors, he's the guy behind the scenes pulling all the strings, He's the one that comes up with the idea of putting um, Anthony Ray Parkers um, in charge of uh, running for governor. Now, that's all well and good. However, the people that were trying to blackmail Eric Roberts' nephew are not done with him and certainly not done with Tim Bay. They try to blackmail him. Um, there are kidnappings take place and it all becomes um, a very deep, dark race uh, for governor uh, for the state of Texas. Right, I don't want to say much more because I don't want to ruin uh, the film or give you any real spoilers here. What are my thoughts on Lone Star Deception? Well, a lot of this will depend on uh, what kind of view you are. If you like political dramas, there is a decent amount here to enjoy. It's, it's a decent enough idea. It's reasonably well executed, um, if a little bit unbelievable at times. And we'll get into that a little bit later. Um, it's it's essentially a story of blackmail, corruption and kidnapping. Um, basically politics at its best. Now, there are times in this film where it is a political drama, but it, it feels like a political drama without the drama at times. Certainly early on. And then later on in the film it kind of moves into more the realms of unbelievable um, in a sense of attempts on life and things like that I mean um, it really does go overboard in that sense um, and it, it almost becomes all out war at one point in this film between these two uh, factions the ones that are trying to stop him become governor um, and himself uh, Tim Bay as well who was a former um, soldier in the Afga Afghanistan war so he, he's he knows how to handle himself he knows how to handle weapons and things like that and he's, he doesn't he's not going to be blackmailed and especially when they put his family at risk he decides to fight back um, so it gets quite intense at one point in the film um, you know uh, like I said lots of kidnappings going on lots of um, moves to get revenge from both sides and it, it, and it literally it almost at that point feels more like an action film at uh, a couple of points in the film it kind of forgets what it is at one point and it does realm a little bit into the unbelievable aspect especially when i mean there is there is a scene in the film where um he turns up for that this event um you, that you have to turn up at if you're running for governor to get your face out there and give speeches and all this kind of stuff and it's a big event and he turns up uh, and he has got quite a lot of security with him um, and he, there is an attempt made on his life, um, and there are people shot, dying, um, bullets going off everywhere. A very, very intense scene. And then after that, he's done. The very next scene is him sat in a coffee house on his own the following morning, contemplating his life and this, that, and the other. No security to be seen anywhere. Um, it was just a little bit odd, like the night before. Literally, a life has been uh, an attempt on his life has been made. He had security all around him, uh, and he basically only just got out in one piece. And then the very next morning, he sat in a coffee house, supping coffee and talking to his friend about what he's going to do next, with no security in sight. Um, so it 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 
it challenges you in regards to uh, its logic and how it sets itself up and things like that. Um, there are some good performances in this film in the sense of Eric Roberts is a veteran, he knows what he's doing, um, he plays this slimy guy behind the scenes pulling the strings and he does it really really well. Um, you do get the sense that he at times might be falling in the performance, doesn't really stretch him for his acting ability but he, you know he holds the film up well but I would say um, he's not in it as much as I was hoping. He is in it throughout this film but he is not the central character that is definitely Anthony Ray, Anthony Ray Parker's character Tim Bay who, um, who essentially is the lead in this film. Um, there are a couple of performances here by um, a couple of the actors in the film that um, are a little bit below par, I would suggest, and take you out of the movie a little bit. Um, and I'm guessing it's because um, they're not particularly well skilled in the art of acting, maybe. But it's not. I've seen far worse. I will go that far. Um, but it does take you out a little bit um, of the film now and again when you do see some of these performances where they're just not... Um, to the quality you would hope for in a film like this but one thing I think this film does really really well is it effectively blurs the lines between right and wrong good and bad um, it, doesn't, it doesn't feel like there's any good guys or bad guys in this film they're all really as bad as each other um, and I think that's the message here uh, that the film's trying to get across and if that is the case it does a pretty good job so I'm going to give this one a 6 out of 10 it's, it's very watchable if it's your type of film, if a little, it does get a little bit unbelievable at times, and it's a little bit slow in other times. And the dialogue, when, uh, at the slow parts of the film, the dialogue doesn't particularly hold up well, um, and the there's not a huge amount of charisma in the performances by anybody here, apart from Eric Roberts when he's on screen. So it is a bit of a challenge to watch sometimes, but stick at it because there is a decent film underneath it all. Um, and it is one worth checking out if you like political drama. So that's my review for Lone Star Deception. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. And of course I'll see you back for more reviews on Screen Stars very soon.